I'll be showing seven new features in Microsoft Forms. This includes the core Forms experience, quizzes, and Teams integration. So let's get started. The first new feature is an updated Forms homepage. Now, if you're using office.com like I am here, if you click on the Forms button, this is still rolling out so you might not see the brand new updates. So what I'm gonna do is go to forms.office.com which will force the new homepage. So here is that new homepage I'm talking about. What you'll see is there's a set of templates here, which I'll show in a little bit, and you can hide those or explore them. You have your recently used forms right here. Another nice improvement is that it's been split out across quiz versus form versus import. Now I'm signed in as an educator, and so quiz is showing first, but a new form or a survey is also a different type of form. And instead of having a drop down split button, these are now very clearly split apart like this. And there's a new import button, and I'll show how to import quizzes a little bit later on. So now this homepage is really easy to use. You can still go here and show items in a list view if you don't like to see the big squares. And down at the bottom, it shows what groups you're part of and where some of these forms live. So a nice little simplification of this homepage. The second new feature is templates available to get you started really easy on creating beautiful forms. So you can see some of the choices, successful events, user research, employee satisfaction, and student teacher feedback. These are all some examples. So I'm gonna click into this one here and choose see templates. Now here are the four different examples. So the first one is course evaluation survey. You can see that there's a nice template already set up really easy to use and see what exists in this template. And if you wanna edit it up at the top, you can choose start to edit. And if I click this, I can very quickly edit that default template survey that came out of the box. Now I'm gonna flip back to another list that we had before. Let's see what other types we have. Teacher feedback survey, it's pretty nice. Student remote learning survey and university student exit survey. I'm gonna hit back to go back to the other example templates. Similar ones, you can do user research. There's a bunch of great ones here. And you can drill in and check out the other types of templates that are there. But this can help you get up and running really easily. And if you don't want to see these templates at any time, you can just choose hide templates in the upper right. And that goes away. The third new feature has been a top request for a long time. And that is the ability to import a Word or PDF document into a quiz automatically. I've switched over to the Word document quiz just to show what this looks like before you import it and also show briefly the PDF quiz. Here's the PDF and I've opened it up. You can see there's a bunch of questions in this PDF quiz. These are the two things that I'll be importing. So I'm gonna choose this import button and here's the import your quiz dialog. And I'm gonna upload this from a device and just to note, you have a 10 megabyte limit. So if you have a really big document or PDF, that's not gonna work. So I'll click upload. And I've got both a document and a PDF. So first let's choose the document. Choose that and click open. It's gonna convert with this little dialog. Okay, this has been converted successfully. Let's start the review, we'll click here. Now it creates a form automatically. Now you can scroll through and make sure that everything that was converted looks proper. So I can scroll down here and check everything out. If there were some issues with the conversion, you can really easily go and fix those things. In this case, everything looks pretty good. I'm all done. And so now I can just send this out if I want. We'll close this dialog. Let's go and try to import a PDF. We'll go back here, click import, choose upload from device. And I've got a PDF right here. We'll click this and choose open. And we'll convert really quick. Okay, PDF's all done, start review. And similarly, you can see here that all of that PDF was converted right into here quickly. And it's got a mix of multiple choice, but it also has a places where you can enter your answer. And you can easily change this. Like right here, it says content assessment globalization, and there's a little underscore. You know, if I wanna change this and get rid of these, I can do that really easy. So it's very easy to update and change your import, but this is a huge time saver if you're importing existing quizzes that you might have. And we'll close this dialog here. The fourth new feature is a small one, but it helps give a little clarity, and that is the collect responses. This used to be share, and it was confusing some people. So now it is the collect responses button. And when you click this, this is where you can set all of the different information about 
who you're gonna send this out to, who can respond. So it's really just renaming that button to make it extra clear on exactly what's happening. And similarly, there is also some renames down at the bottom that says go to more form settings to collaborate on a form with others or duplicate it. So I'm gonna go to the three dot menu and you'll see collaborate or duplicate. We'll click this. And again, this has just been simplified a little bit so you break out the two different types. So if I wanna collaborate and have others work on this form with me, I click this link here. If I wanna share this as a template so others can duplicate it, I click that link. So a couple of user interface updates around buttons with collect responses, and then splitting out collaborate and duplicate to make it really clear exactly how those work. The fifth new feature isn't really a demo, but it is an announcement that Form supports now up to 5 million responses. So you can send a form up to 5 million people and have them respond. So whether it's a corporation, whether it's a public survey, or whether it's a large scale education survey, Forms can scale to all your needs with supporting up to 5 million people with one form. The sixth new feature is in Teams meetings and it is a Forms app that's been renamed. So if I go up to plus under apps, I'm gonna search for an app and I'm gonna search for polls. Polls is the new Forms app. They're gonna be deprecating the actual forms itself and instead it's been renamed to polls. So I will choose polls here and we'll click add and now click save. Now you can see the new polls app and these are all generated by Microsoft Forms. Also, you can see polls is added up here. So I can create a new poll, but there's also suggestions. How are you feeling today? The word cloud, which I'll show just a little bit. There's some other information down here. So lots of suggestions that you can do, or you can click new poll right here. And now I have all the same classic forms options that I've had in the past. Multiple choice, quiz, and then this new one, word cloud. And the seventh new feature is the word cloud. So now I can really quickly make a word cloud poll for my team's meeting. And what this does is it'll generate a little word cloud based on the number of responses that people give. So I'll click word cloud and we'll do favorite color. And there's some options right here. I'm gonna just leave it as is and we'll launch this. So we'll enter my response. My favorite color is blue, we'll hit submit. And you can see, hey, there's one response and there's uh, one person. And I can even give that a thumbs up. So now what I can do is go have other people respond as well. And they can either add their own option or again, they can hover and give it a thumbs up to sort of plus one it. So we'll go switch over. So it looks like now there are eight responses. You can see some of the other options. You can see people have voted and added their colors. And I'm gonna close this here. Now over here, this is the light bulb that has all the suggestions. I'm gonna turn this off because I just wanna see the poll I created. So here's that live poll that I created, all of the colors right there, and I can view the results just like I would before in the old Forms app. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel, and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.